So after all of the parting, I'm left with four in the back and six in the front, which all together is ten sections. I'm using grapeseed oil, some of the Kinky Curly Custard Gel, and some water. To tangle them first, I'm going to apply some of the grapeseed oil, and then I apply some of the custard gel and then I start to flat twist. Now when I flat twist, I always go with the part. So if the part is curved or if the part is straight or if the part is slanted, I always go with the part. I also fill around the flat twist as I flat twist. This ensures me that there's nothing in my way and that my flat twist will be neat. And for this section and the section on my right, the flat twist will be facing upwards. And my hair is already full of avocado and shea butter mix. I am in the works of doing a video for that as well, but I'm in the middle of moving, so please bear with me. Now for the right section, like I said, you just want to follow the part. The part is your guideline, you just want to follow it. Your flat twist will look exactly like the part if you follow it.
it's about that time to take it down but before I do that I want to give y'all a little twirl of the flat twist and before I knew it it was morning time so I got right into it I went straight for the section that is out that section I'm just going to do a loose flat twist on that section I did detangle the section first I applied all of the products that I used for the flat twist in that same section and then like I said I'm going to do a loose flat twist now when I do a loose flat twist I usually flat twist going away from the scalp so the flat twist is kind of lifted and this is going to form a a cushion for the bun So I'm flat twisting loosely and then once I get to the end I'm going to curve it around and pin it under. And once I'm done that I'm going to start with the flat twist that's on the top. I'm going to grab one of the flat twists and I'm going to curve it around the loose flat twist and pin it under the flat twist. I'm going to do this to all of the flat twists on the top. I'm just going to take one flat twist at a time curve it around right next to the last flat twist that I just did and pin it under that loose flat twist until I'm all done and once I got to the back section I turned the end of those flat twists into rings I placed them beside each other and on top of each other and then for the two flat twists that was hanging in the front I twist those together and I pin them right on top of the rings that I just created and before I put the purple rose on the bun here's how all of the flat twists look pinned in place now for the purple rose it's glittery dark purple on the outside and it's light purple on the inside I placed that right on top of the rings I created so here's how everything looks I hope you guys really enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up button and smash the subscribe button i'll see you guys in my next video until then goodbye